Hare Krishna. Uh, so uh, if you are ready, uh, we may put the rest on the screen and then you may begin. All right. Uh, I'll begin by <clears throat> chanting the Mangalacharam. Yes. Or the Radha Madhava. Okay, whichever way. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing the Mangala Charana prayers and lead a short kirtan. Okay. Then we will speak about Srimad Bhagavatam. Thank you, Maharaj. One Here we shall 
Vishnupad Paramahansa Pariprajya Kacharya Stotra Sutrasri Srimad Bhakti Vidanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Iskand Founder Acharya Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Pariprajya Kacharya Stotra Sutrasri Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai Anantakoti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur Kijai. Prem Se Kaho Si Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Kijai. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina. Sham Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan Kijai. Vrindavan Dham Kijai. Navadweep Dham Kijai. Chamuna Mai Kijai. Ganga Mai Kijai. Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Samveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Itai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bol. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories, all glories to Sri Guru and Sri Goranga. All glories to Shiva Prabhupada. All glories to His Holiness Giriraj Swami Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we shall be reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 17, Punishment and Reward of Kali. Text 43 and 44. Text 43 and 44. 
Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Sa Esha Etari Adhyasta Asanam Parthi Vochitam, Vita Mahano Panasyastam, Ragyarniam, Rivita, Aste, Dina, Sa, Rajarshi, Korabendra, Sri Alasan, Rajavaye, Maha, Bhagas, Chakrabarti, Rahach, Shrava, Synonyms. Sa, Sa, He, He, Asha, Asha, This, This, Etarhi, At the present, At the present, Adyaste, Adyaste, Is ruling over. Asanam, the throne, the throne, Artiva Uchitam, Artiva Uchitam, just befitting a king, just befitting a king, Itamahena, Itamahena. By the grandfather, by the grandfather, Upanyastam, Upanyastam, being handed over, being handed over, Ragya, 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 by the king, by the king, Aranyam, Aranyam, forest, forest. forest. Vivikshata, desiring, asate, is there, is there, aduna, at present, present, sa, that. Rajarishi, Rajarishi, the sage amongst the kings, the sage amongst the kings, Kaurava Indra, Kaurava Indra, the chief amongst the Kuru kings, the chief amongst the Kuru kings, Shriya, Shriya, glories, glories. Ulasan, spreading, Gajavaye, in Hastinapur, Mahabhaga, the most fortunate, Chakravarti, the Emperor, the Emperor, Rihat Shravaha, highly famous, highly famous. Translation 
the most fortunate member of Maharaj Parikshit, who was entrusted with the kingdom of Hastinapur by Maharaj Yudhisthir when he desired to retire to the forest, is now ruling the world with great success due to his being glorified by the deeds of the kings of the Kuru dynasty. Please repeat. The most fortunate emperor, Maharaj Parikshit. The most fortunate emperor, Maharaj Parikshit. Who was entrusted with the kingdom of Hastinapur. Who was entrusted with the kingdom of Hastinapur. Maharaj Yudhisthir. By Maharaj Yudhisthira. When he desired to retire to the forest, when he desired to retire to the forest, is now ruling the world with great success. Is now ruling the world with great success. Due to his being glorified. Due to his being glorified. By the deeds of the kings of the Kuru dynasty. By the deeds of the kings of the Kuru dynasty. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. The prolonged sacrificial ceremonies undertaken by the sages of Naimi Sharanya were begun shortly after the demise of Maharaj Parikshit. The sacrifice was to continue for 1,000 years, and it is understood that in the beginning, some of the contemporaries of Baladev the elder brother of Lord Krishna also visited the sacrificial place. According to some authorities, the present tense is also used to indicate the nearest margin of time from the past. In that sense, the present tense is applied to the reign of Maharaj Parikshit here. For a continuous fact also, present tense can be used. The principles of Maharaj Parikshit can be still continued and human society can still be improved if there is determination by the authorities. So the, uh, the world is in great need of good government. Most of the world leaders in Srila Prabhupada's words are rogues and rascals. And therefore, the world is in a state of uh, chaos and confusion. Uh, no one is really happy. Everyone is in anxiety uh, because of the lack of good, saintly, competent leaders. So Maharaj Yudhisthira was a saintly, competent leader, and his grandson, Maharaj Parikshit, was also a competent, saintly leader. And Maharaj Parikshit handed, excuse me, Maharaj Yudhisthira <clears throat> handed over the kingdom to Maharaj Parikshit. Um, nowadays, most political leaders try to stay in power until the end, but Maharaj Yudhisthira wanted to 
leave the kingdom and proceed to the Himalayas for spiritual perfection. And thus the kingdom was entrusted to the uh, hands of Maharaj Parikshit, uh, who was a worthy uh, successor uh, to Maharaj Yudhisthira. So now we'll go back to the purport. Oh, we... The principles of Maharaj Parikshit can be still continued and human society can still be improved if there is determination by the authorities. We can still purge out from the state all the activities of immorality introduced by the personality of Hali. If we are determined to take action like Maharaj Parikshit. So the history is that uh, when Maharaj Parikshit was touring his kingdom, he found the personality of Kali um, beating a cow. And the king, it being the protector of all of the praja, the citizens, and Srila Prabhupada often made the point that the animals are also count as praja, and they should also be protected by the king or the leader. Oh, Maharaj Parikshit was such a competent leader uh, that he, when he saw Kali engaged in his nefarious activities, he intervened and stopped him. And uh, Kali then surrendered to Maharaj Parikshit and asked for some place in his kingdom. And uh, Maharaj Parikshit said that he could stay where there is um, gambling, intoxication, uh, illicit sex, and meat eating. But Kali said that we do not find any of these things in your kingdom. So there will be no place where I can stay. Then Maharaj Parikshit said, all right, then you can stay where there's holding hoarding of gold. So Kali was happy that he, he had a place to stay in Maharaj Parikshit's kingdom. So let's go back to the purport. He allotted some place for Kali, but in fact, Kali could not find such places in the such places in the world at all, because Maharaj Parikshit was strictly vigilant to see that there were no places for gambling, drinking, prostitution, and animal slaughter. Modern administrators want to banish corruption from the state, but fools as they are, they do not know how to do it. They want to issue licenses for gambling houses, wine, and other intoxicating drug houses, brothels, hotel prostitution, and cinema houses. 
and falsity in every dealing, even in their own. And they want at the same time to drive out corruption from the state. So here Srila Prabhupada is pointing out both the ignorance of the administrators and the hypocrisy of the administrators. Kali Yuga, of course, Kali literally means quarrel. So Kali Yuga means the age of quarrel. It's, but it's also the age of hypocrisy. And so the leaders are hypocritical because they say they want to banish corruption from the state, but they allow uh, the, the four principles of sinful life uh, where Kali was given a place to reside, namely where there's meat eating, intoxication, illicit sex, and gambling. So if the leaders want to have uh, peace and prosperity domains, eliminate or at least curb these sinful activities where Kali is present, uh, where there's uh, meat eating, intoxication, illicit sex, and gambling. So now we go back to the purport. So modern administrators want to banish corruption from the state, but fools as they are, they do not know how to do it. They want to issue licenses for gambling houses, wine and other intoxicating drug houses, brothels, hotel prostitution and cinema houses, and falsity in every dealing, even in their own. And they want at the same time to drive out corruption from the state. They want the kingdom of God without God consciousness. How can it be possible to adjust two contradictory matters? If we want to drive out corruption from the state, we must first of all organize society to accept the principles of religion, namely austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness, and to make the condition favorable, we must close all places of gambling drinking, prostitution, and falsity. So these principles of religion, and we want to keep the purport here on the screen, namely austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness, are just the opposite numbers of gambling, drinking, prostitution, and falsity. For example, uh, mercy, uh, where there's mercy, there can be no animal killing or um, slaughter. And um, yeah, that's, that's one example how these four items, austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness, are the opposite numbers of um, gambling, drinking, prostitution, and falsity. These are some of the practical lessons from the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam. 
So Srimad Bhagavatam is the uh, perfect scripture. Uh, Srila Rupa Goswami has, uh, has said that Srimad Bhagavatam is the highest uh, evidence. And uh, Srila Prabhupada has really uh, glorified Srimad Bhagavatam because it gives perfect uh, guidance and direction for uh, the, the welfare of human society, both spiritually and materially. Um, and in, 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 in the mood of glorifying Srimad Bhagavatam, I will read uh, some verses and translations uh, from the Bhagavatam itself that establishes the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, the second verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, Dharma projita kaita votra paramo nimat saranam satam, radium vastavam atra vastu shivadam tapta trayan mulinam, Srimad Bhagavate Mahamuni krite kim vaparayar ishwara, sadyo hridyanu avarudyate tra kritibi. Susushibis Tatshadat. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are motiv materially motivated, this Bhagavat Purana propounds the highest truth, which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. The highest truth is reality, distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. Such truth uproots the threefold miseries. This beautiful Bhagavatam, compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity, is sufficient in itself for God realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of the Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established within his heart. Then the next verse. <speaking in foreign language> o expert and thoughtful men, relish Srimad Bhagavatam the mature fruit of the desire tree of Vedic literatures. It emanated from the lips of Sri Sukadev Goswami. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful, although its nectarian juice was already relishable for all, including liberated souls. And then Srimad Bhagavatam 1343, Krishna Sudama Pagate Dharma Gyana Divisaha Kalonasta Trisham Esa Puranarko Dunodita. This Bhagavat Purana is as brilliant as the sun, and it has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna to his own abode, accompanied by religion, knowledge, etc. Persons who have lost their vision 
due to the dense darkness of ignorance in the age of Kali, shall get light from this Purana. Then Srimad Bhagavatam 1340. Bhagavatam Nama Puranam Brahma Samitam Uttama Shloka Charitam Chakara Bhagavan Rishi Nishraya Syasya Lokasya Danyam Swastayanam Mahat. This scripture named Srimad Bhagavatam is the literary incarnation of God. And it is compiled by Srila Vyasadeva, the incarnation of God. It is meant for the ultimate good of all people. And it is all successful, all blissful, and all perfect. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu declared that Srimad Bhagavatam is the spotless sound representation of all Vedic knowledge and history. Therein are selected histories of great devotees who are in direct contact with the personality of Godhead. Srimad Bhagavatam is the literary incarnation of Lord Sri Krishna and is therefore non-different from him. Srimad Bhagavatam should be worshipped as respectfully as we worship the Lord. Thereby we can derive the ultimate blessings of the Lord through its careful and patient study. As God is all light, all bliss, and all perfection, so also is Srimad Bhagavatam. We can have all the transcendental light of the Supreme Brahman, Sri Krishna, from the recitation of Srimad Bhagavatam, provided it is received through the medium of the transparent spiritual master. Lord Chaitanya's private secretary, Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami, advised all intending visitors who came to see the Lord at Puri to make a study of the Bhagavatam from the person Bhagavatam. The person Bhagavatam is the self-realized bona fide spiritual master and through him only can one understand the lessons of the Bhagavatam in order to receive the desired result. One can derive from the study of the Bhagavatam all benefits that are possible to be derived from the personal presence of the Lord. It carries with it all the transcendental blessings of Lord Sri Krishna that we can expect from his personal contact. So, my dear devotees, <laughs> we are blessed by Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the sound, sound representation of Lord Krishna compiled by the empowered incarnation of Lord Krishna, uh, mercifully translated by Srila Prabhupada for us with his purports uh, so, so that we can, uh, yeah, live peacefully and happily in this world and in the end, go back, back to Godhead. So thank you for joining me. Uh, the, the devotees who are on Zoom, as far as possible, please put on your cameras so we can see your moon-like faces and uh, it, it will be more personal. And now, if any of you have any questions or comments or reflections, you can raise your hand 
your physical hand or your virtual hand and and speak. All right, Krishna, thank you so much, Maharaj, for the class. Uh, lots of uh, verses from the same Bhagavatam proving itself, its superiority over all other forms of scriptures. So like Maharaj said at this point, whoever has a question, please indicate that by either using your physical hand or your virtual hand, hand emoji, and you'll be asked to unmute. At this point, everybody's muted. But if you do show up your hand, you will be unmuted, so you may ask your question. Hare Krishna. Uh, all right, I have a, a first question. That was, uh, like I said, uh, it's always blissful to have your association. Uh, I am not happy that COVID came and uh, has taken so many lives, but at the same time, I am thankful that because of COVID, uh, we now have the opportunity to have the association of amazing devotees like you, because I don't think I could have had your association without the COVID. <laughs> so, uh, but I remember some time ago when I was writing my offering, uh, Vyasa Puja offering to my Gurudev, but it was just from Maharaj. I remember making a statement that I am the most fortunate unfortunate. I said I'm the most fortunate unfortunate. And the reason I said that is because like we read in from this text from Bhagavatam, that Maharaj Parikshit was the most fortunate. And devotees in ESCON are most fortunate because we have the Bhagavatam, like you referenced. We have everything we need to know, to do, to go back home, back to God. But oftentimes, it's so difficult for most of us doing these very things that we know we need to do. So my question is, what can we do to do the very things we know we need to do so that we can go back home, back to God? Hare Krishna. Well, you can do them. They're, 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 just do it. There's a saying, just do it. Um, of course, Srila Prabhupada also said that 90% uh, of Krishna consciousness is association. And so if you associate with uh, advanced devotees, sincere devotees, experienced devotees, then it will be easier for you. Uh, in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, uh, Srila Rupa Goswami has enumerated 64 items of devotional service. And out of the 64, five are most potent. And he says that even a slight association with any one of the five is sufficient to awaken dormant love of Godhead. And one of the five is Sadhu Sangha. I mean, the five is Sadhu Sangha, Nama Kirtana, Bhagavat, Shravana, Mathura Vasa, mm -hmm. and Murti Sharanvita Sevana. So sadhu sangha, associating with devotees, but I'll give you the exact definition. But generally, sadhu sangha, associating with devotees, Bhagavad Shravanam, hearing Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, oh yeah, Namakirtana, chanting the holy names. Uh, Mathura Vasa, living in a holy place such as Mathura, Vrindavan, Mayapur. And Srila Prabhupada has also said that our temples are holy places. And uh, Murti Sharanvita Sevada, to serve the deity with um, 
faith and veneration. So these are the five most potent items of devotional service. And Srila uh, Rupa Swami says, even a slight uh, performance of any one of the five is sufficient to awaken uh, dormant love of Krishna. So now coming to the definition of sadhu sangha, Rupa Goswami says, Swajati ashaye snigde sadhu sangha svatovare. So swajatiya means in a sort of literal sense from the same community. Uh, and in our case, it would mean uh, specifically followers of Srila Prabhupada. Swajati ashaye snigde. Now, uh, snigda means uh, affection. And in and Srila Prabhupada has translated the verse that uh, uh, who has a similar affection for the Lord, but uh, snigde can also be taken to mean that the sadhu should be affectionate to you, which is also true. Swajati ashe snigde sadhu sangha sotobare. And sotobare means he should be more advanced than you are. So if we have that kind of sadhu sangha, uh, then it will be much easier for us to do what we know we should do. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you for the answer. Uh, Itika Mata, please unmute. Hare Krishna. Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Our glories to Srila Prabhupada. Wishing you and all the Vaishnavas here a very prosperous Diwali and Damodar Leela today. Thank you. Maharaj, you mentioned the five points, and I've always had a question about one of them, uh, where Srila Rupa Goswami states, residing in uh, a holy dham, Mathura, or Vrindavan. But we are a preaching mission, so if all of us have such a strong desire to live in the dham and permanently settle there, then who would be preaching all over the world? Yes. Um... I remember one year we were in Mayapur with Srila Prabhupada, walking with him on his roof. And uh, Pandra Dravida Swami uh, said to Srila Prabhupada that, uh, that he, he really liked Mayapur and he, he didn't feel like leaving. And Srila Prabhupada replied, you should make the whole world like Mayapur. <laughs> so yes, we, we, we do need to go out and preach. Srila Prabhupada showed by his own example. He left Vrindavan at an elderly age and he came to the West to preach in pursuance of the order of his spiritual master and the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So yes, you're absolutely right. Um, and as Srila Prabhupada said, his temples are also holy places. Uh, so we, 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 we do get that as well. Uh, and, and of course, the main thing is the consciousness. One year, His Holiness Gorgovinda Swami Maharaj visited Mauritius. And uh, we, we were at the uh, Iskand Vedic farm in Mauritius. And um, after the program, we were walking and I mentioned to him about these five most potent items of devotional service. And I mentioned Mathura Vas, and he looked at me in the eyes and said, Kamsa also lived in Mathura. 
<laughs> so <laughs> it's not enough just to live in Mathura, but we have to have the uh, mood of a uh, 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 devoted servant of Lord Krishna. <laughs> Thank you so much for that answer. <laughs> Kamsa also lived in Mathura. <laughs> so at this point, uh, we go to Govinda Prabhu, please, on mute. Hare Krishna, uh, Maharaj, please accept my respectful obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada and all glories to you, Maharaj. And thank you for your loving associations. Maharaj, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I can put this question correctly um, for your understanding, so you can help me understand this question. Uh, Just as you just said, uh, you quoted somewhere from the same Bhagavatam. And by the reading, we clearly understand how fortunate we are to have Shima Bhagavatam. That the Shima Bhagavatam give us the uh, the keys to unlock the gates for entering into uh, into the spiritual world, into Krishna Loka. But he also gave a condition in your reading, and the condition was that <clears throat> this Bhagavatam has to be. Uh, to be recited by a self self realized person a self realized person has to explain this bhagavata now uh, the there are some medicines that are very very bitter and because of the bitterness of the medicine, it is being sugar-coated. That when you have it in your mouth, you think it's so sweet, but the real thing is inside behind the sweetness. And so also, um, my understanding to what you just read was that the Bhagavatam, the import of the Bhagavatam is revealed by a pure devotee. If a pure devotee should read and explain. So those of us who are not on this platform of purity, of self-realization, those of us who are not self-realized, how do we read Bhagavatam and understand the, the import of it? since we are not self-realized. And if someone who is not realized also read the Bhagavatam and try to explain what would be the implication? Well, uh, Srila Prabhupada was self-realized and we have his reports to explain the verses. And um, the, 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 the main qualification for hearing Srimad Bhagavatam is Nirmat Saranam. One should be free from envy. Um, and Srila Prabhupada, uh, in fact, it was one of the last purports that he dictated when he was in Vrindavan in his last days. And he said, um, you know, read Srimad, just read or discuss Srimad Bhagavatam daily as much as possible. Every 
verse is transcendental. It was compiled by Vyasadeva in his maturity, Mahamuni Krite. And uh, the more you discuss, the more the subject will become clarified. So Srila Prabhupada wanted us to discuss Srimad Bhagavatam among ourselves. And um, yeah, by such discussions, we be, our hearts become purified. Srinvata uh, Svakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Hridanti Yes Vajrani Hearing hearing the messages of Godhead are themselves virtuous and they uh, cleanse the heart of inauspicious things. So yeah, we 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 have association with one another so we can chant and hear about Krishna. Um, we may not be perfectly self-realized, but yes, in broad terms, we know Jiva Sarupai, Krishna Nityadas, we are eternal servants of Krishna. And uh, reading and discussing Srimad Bhagavatam with devotees is very effective. Srila Prabhupada asked us to give Bhagavatam class every morning. He didn't put a condition that, oh, you have to be perfectly self-realized to speak on Srimad Bhagavatam. And uh, yeah, Srimad Bhagavatam will reveal itself to us. Krishna will reveal himself to us if we chant and hear in the association of devotees. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for that beautiful answer. Uh, I'm very happy with that answer because I like to hear and speak about it. And I know I am impure. But at least from your answer, by constantly trying to hear and speak to Bhagavatam, I may one day become pure. <laughs> Thank you for the answer. Uh, Malati Devi, please unmute. Hi Krishna, good morning. It was excellent. Most heartfelt obeisance. Just to hear you speak. All the best to Shri Prabhupada. All the best to your kind friends. How about the baby? Excuse me. There is some noise at the background. Can you check? And if you can, yes, I cannot hear you. You can increase your volume a little bit. Okay. Is it fireworks on Diwali? Is that what's happening? Yes, yes, I can't tell. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, uh, yeah, it stopped. Yeah. Yes. Um, Guru Maharaj, uh, we were speaking about uh, Kaliuga, and we see so many disqualifications, and uh, that becomes it becomes difficult for uh, us to imbibe uh, good qualities. And if I see myself, it's been so many years. And today I feel um, the holy name is the goal. Uh, but still I'm, I'm working on it after so many years being in ISKCON. Uh, we had that golden period where every one of you all were there in front of us, blessing us and, you know, openly giving us your association. But today um, uh, it becomes uh, uh, difficult for others to imbibe those qualities so soon and accept this uh, this con movement so easily. So how do we make them understand? Because Kaliga is also increasing and degrading much more than before. So it becomes so difficult for us to 
explain to them that yes this is it you know this is this is the movement which will which will give you happiness and everything so what is the main points we can speak to them that this uh, this will help them out when we speak according to our realization our words have more effect and so um I mean, if, if you speak theory, it, it's it's okay. It's not bad. It's it's good also. But if you speak from your realization, it will have more effect. And when they feel your heartfelt appeal to them based on your own realization, um, they should respond. And we always have our, as Srila Prabhupada said, our secret weapon, which is Krishna Prasad. So you can always give them Prasad, you know, that that will clear the way for them to make further progress. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Uh, and thank you for the question, Malati Devi. Uh, so we go to Rishabhani Nandi, uh, Nandini, sorry. Please give me a mute. Hare Krishna. Let's accept my humble obeisances. All words to you. Divine grace, all words to show Prabhupada and to all the devotees. Um, um, in my family, we are reading um, uh, Krishna book, the big book, and uh, one once I heard that if we read all all this book, it is the same like we are reading uh, all the Shrimad Bhagavatam ver verses songs. Yes, it, it it is right or it is not so, because <laughs> my little Damodar he told me that it's more easily to read uh, one. Uh, big book and to become to go to go to the to back to the god <laughs> and his hope he hopes to to do this to reach this after after we will finish this book um i just want to clarify it is the same uh powerful like to read step by step or from one song to to the end uh shaman bhagavatam well, of course, Krishna book is Srila Prabhupada's summary study of the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. And, uh, but there's a lot of philosophy in Krishna book. Once when I was with Srila Prabhupada in his room uh, in Madras, we were staying with a, a, a one Mr. Balu at his home. And in his room, Srila Prabhupada gave a brief, a brief description of his books, each of his books. And for Krishna book, he said that, you know, that Krishna book is pastimes and philosophy but the philosophy is so woven into the pastimes that you don't even realize that you're getting the philosophy. And I, I hear Krishna book every day when I take prasad. Narottam Vilas Das reads Krishna book to me. And uh, what Srila Prabhupada said is true. I mean, there's pastimes, so there's a lot of philosophy woven into it, but it, 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 in such a way that you don't feel that the pastimes are being interrupted with the philosophy. So that's good. So is that Damodar on the screen? He's definitely on the way back home, back to Godhead. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Damodar.
You may unmute. Uh, Maharaj is saying Hare Krishna to Namodara Prabhu. Yeah, you should have Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Guru uh, Maharaj. I have also the second uh, question, a uh, short one, uh, about the games. You know, um, uh, today children sometimes, uh, also with their adults, we are playing so so-called um, board games or how it calls fish games and uh, it is uh, also just as sinful or not do you understand my question so what kind of game um table games table games with we are playing with the children and they're I don't know. <laughs> they have some reason to earn money or something like that, and to earn some stars and something like this. And uh, I thought that it is also such of uh, sinful games. Maybe I'm not right, but you know, the, in this world we have a lot of uh, teach games, and we are in free of our time. We can play with the children with them, and I'm. Uh, scared that it is also simple games maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I understand what you mean. Uh, what, Mara, Mara, what she's trying to say is, well, uh, I don't think you may know because it's <laughs> it's a mundane thing that goes on. It's, uh, but there are lots of games that children play online. They not can, online. I mean, uh, not online. I mean, in the in the house, it is called okay. it calls uh, teach games. For example, where in the family we can play uh, with the cards, something to earn some some points. You know, something like this, okay. just to like a monopoly or something like that. And uh, it is also uh, such a sinful games or not. I don't know. That's why I just want to, you know, to be sure if it's possible to protect uh, children from this um, sinful games. Do you do you reward physical money? No, only. No, okay. So it's very similar to what is done online. Now children will play games, and when they win, they are giving uh, like a star or giving money but it's not physical money so she mm -hmm. wants to find out if such games are appropriate for devotees because part of her understanding or consciousness is that she thinks it's not good for people to be playing games that reward with money and stars like that well i think there are some krishna conscious board games I mean, there was a, a, a devotee visiting here in Vrindavan from Mumbai, and she has some really good ideas for board games, Krishna conscious board games. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I think I would trust your intuition if you think if you think it's if it's bad then don't do it and if you think it's all right then you can do it but yeah I'm, I'm i'm sure that um you know krishna will give you the intelligence what to do and what not to do okay thank you very much Hare krishna Hare krishna thank you maharaj uh so we'll go to Krishna Giovanni Devi, please unmute. Thank you, Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances and all glories to you and Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna devotees for giving this opportunity. Um, Maharaj, it's not so much a question, but I just wanted to share something. Um, when you mentioned the five uh, aspects that Rupa Goswami said about bhakti. Um, in the 13th chapter, in the first canto, Maharaj Yudhishthira tells Vidura that pure devotees like you are verily holy places personified. 
Mm. Srila Prabhupada makes the point that not only should we be seeking out um, holy people in holy places, but also become pure devotees ourselves. And you, th thank you, Maharaj. We feel that when we are in your physical presence and in your virtual presence. And um, so thank you for setting that example for us. And, um, and then I was thinking that of all the five processes, if we start with Bhagavad Shravanam, then all the other four might fall into place. And no matter how busy we are, no matter how geographically distant we are from Vrindavan, Mathura and Mayapur, Srila Prabhupada has made it so simple. We can go on Veda base, we can listen in our car, the purport. He, the, the ISKCON movement cannot make it any easier for us to read the Srimad Bhagavad. And if we latch on to that, perhaps the rest would follow. And, and that's, uh, I had those realizations as I was listening to your class. So thank you, Maharaj. Nice, very nice. Jai. Thank you so much, Krishna Giovanni Devi. Hare Krishna. Uh, anyone else with any question? Ma Ma Maharaj, are you in India? I believe you are in India. I'm in Vrindavan. Vrindavan. So uh, we're also putting in the time factor because it's quite late at your end. Uh, so do what is anyone with any question, please? Uh, let's try to be quick so Maharaj can go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Maharaj, I have I have a, a a personal question, and that is, we were reading from Shapuvapas Lilamrita, and uh, we were reading about how I think the the thirty sixth chapter of Shapuvapas Lilamrita it talks about how one time there was a big pandal held in India. That was like the first time ever. And Sri Prabhupada made you the person to raise funds. And <laughs> made Shama Sundra Prabhu the head of publicity. Uh, Madhu Dwish uh, Prabhu, the, the one in charge of, uh, like, I think the play or things like that. Now, I wanted to find out from you, Maharaj, how 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 difficult i believe it was difficult because you uh bodily wise you are born in us and now this program is being held in india and you have to raise funds how difficult was it and how do you encourage us from your personal experience to try to fulfill the uh instructions of the guru, no matter how difficult it may seem. That is just my question, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, I, I felt very at home in India. After maybe two or three days, I felt completely at home in India. And I liked the people I was meeting and approaching to give uh, donations or advertisements for our souvenir book or become life members. And um, uh, Srila Prabhupada later said that uh, that Kiriraj can make friends with any man, become his son, and take his money. <laughs> so I guess that's the way I did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it's it's always so beautiful hearing from those of you who were in direct association with Sri Prabhupada and how dynamic Sri Prabhupada was, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I, I think from that same Leela too, Sri, I think it was either you or somebody else, you were concerned about uh, 
like how sometimes the British will try to force uh, Krishna consciousness on the people. And I was shocked to hear Shapa said, well, you can cheat a little bit. And <laughs> he explained what you meant by cheating. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not like not, not that. Cheating. No, no, not cheating, tricking. It's okay, tricking, okay, okay, tricking. Trick, um, Thank you for the correction. Yes, tricking, so he, he used, uh, different uh, scenarios, like somebody who is not interested in arithmetic. You put one plus one, he said, no. And then he says, okay, now just bring a cow. And then yeah. so if you break, so that is what he was saying. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> so I think at this point, we may have to bring the class to a close and uh, thereby ask all the devotees to kindly unmute. And then we all chant the loudest Hare Krishna Maha Mantra to express our appreciation for Maharaj's presence and the uh, delivery of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Hare Hare. Yeah, uh, thank you for your association as always, Maharaj, and uh, we hope to have your association again sometime very soon. And Hare Krishna to you all devotees, assembled devotees, for giving us your amazing association. Yes. And we hope to have more and more of your association because like Maharaj said, this is the most important uh, of the five uh, things left with us in this Kali Yuga, Vaishnav Association, Sadhu Sangha. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Our glory is to the crow. Our glory is to his holiness, give you right to me, my right. Hare Krishna. Thank, Thank you. you all, and we hope to see you again sometime. Haribo. Hare Krishna.